Ambassador Rice, you know I agree um, with you 100 percent on how, why this is needed, why it is uh, absolutely necessary uh, to bring the federal government in line with the, the country that, um, that they're leading. But there are going to be Republicans who say, well, this focus on racial equity is only going to serve to tear us apart. And what about what about unity? Make the case for why focusing on racial equity is paramount to moving this country forward. Well, John, as I said, we're focused on racial justice and equity. Equity is racial, but it's not just racial. It's, it's for everybody who has not had the benefits of a system that has mm -hmm. not served everybody. This is actually the opposite of dividing us. This is about bringing everybody, everybody in and being inclusive. It's a bit bit rich to the Republicans after the four, four years of the most divisive president, president ever, who, who used uh, bigotry and ha hatred as a politi political strategy to, to accuse a new administration that is trying to include and lift up everybody of divisiveness. But J John, there's also a very strong factual reason it's not just about more moral leadership doing the right thing, as important as that is. But we know, we know economic studies, one in particular uh, uh, last summer by City, that when we close racial gaps, when we close the racial wealth, wealth gap, opportunity gap, we create a, a better, more prosperous country for all. For all. We lost $16 trillion to this economy over the last 20, 20 years because of racial, racial disparities. And City has es estimated that we could add more than five trillion dollars and six million jobs to our economy over, over the next five years if we close close racial gaps uh, and opportunity gaps. So this is not about serving one group to the detriment of another. This this is lifting everybody up and ma and making everybody safer and richer. So so this is our collective mm -hmm. interest, and division is what sets us back. Ambassador Rice, I have to let you go, but before I do that, I was given a homework assignment um, in the earlier hour from David Hogg, the survivor of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas uh, Parkland um, shooting, and he had a specific question he wanted me to ask you. So I am, uh, have a listen. We have it here. It's horrible that this is happening, but also, Jonathan, I know you're going to be interviewing uh, Ambassador Rice later, and I want you to ask her uh, uh, for us. You know, we need the administration to talk about gun violence and talk about appointing a national director of gun violence prevention, as over 300 uh, survivors of gun violence have talked about and called on the administration uh, to talk about gun violence more. We, we know they need to hire people. We know there are crises that they needed to act on. But we need to act on the American epidemic of gun violence that is still happening, that people like Marjorie Taylor Greene are perpetuating and allowing to continue in this country. So please ask her that. And so, Ambassador Rice, you've just heard David Hogg's question. Your response? I couldn't agree more. This has been a priority for Joe Biden for year, year and years and years. He's been a leader against violence. And I can assure you that in his, in his administration and under my leadership of the Domestic Policy Council, this will, will continue to be an, an important focus. So we, are, we are not going to drop the ball on gun violence. And I, I admire such the work that David and, and so, so many of others in the March for Our Lives movement have done to bring attention to this issue. We will be their partners in addressing this challenge. Former Ambassador Susan Rice, Chief of the White House Domestic Policy Council, thank you very much. I hope you will come back to the Sunday show. Where we can talk more about specific things that you're working on uh, with the, the um, Task Force on Racial Equity. Thank you very much for being here. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.